Did you know that I wrote The Prince, a work that forever changed politics? I am Niccolò Machiavelli, author of one of the most influential guides on power and ambition. My life was marked by cunning, but also by tragedy, having been tortured and exiled from my beloved Florence. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video to discover more about my life and work. I was born in Florence, Italy, in 1469, into a well-off but not noble family. My education was refined, and from a young age, I showed a deep interest in classical literature and politics. Although there are not many details about my love life in my youth, it is known that I married Marietta Corsini in 1502, with whom I had several children. My childhood and youth were marked by the Florentine Renaissance, a time of great cultural and political effervescence. At 29, I entered the service of the Republic of Florence's government, where I began to forge my political career and closely observe the behavior of leaders and power dynamics. Despite not belonging to the nobility, my intelligence and ability for politics allowed me to rise quickly. However, my life was not without controversy and challenges, and my pragmatic and sometimes cynical approach to politics often clashed with the norms and values of the time. These early experiences shaped my thinking and laid the groundwork for my future works, which would continue to influence characteristic achievement, without a doubt, was the writing of The Prince, a work that has endured through the ages and has profoundly influenced political thought. In this treatise, I explored the complexities of power and the nature of authority, offering a practical and rinse so unique is its pragmatic and often cynical approach. I did not worry about what should be in an ideal world, but what is in reality. I argued that leaders must be willing to act immorally if it allows them to maintain power. The famous phrase, the end justifies the means, has often been associated with my thinking. Other significant works like Discourses on the Fursini, it is rumored that I had several mistresses. However, my marriage was more a convenient union than life, is that despite my deep knowledge and analysis of power, I never managed to reach a position of great authority in Florence. I was imprisoned and tortured after being falsely accused of conspiracy, and I spent the rest of my life in exile, far from active politics. The death came in 1527, under relatively common... I died from an illness, possibly a complication of a kidney condition, in my home on the outskirts of Florence. I was imprisoned, tortured, and finally exiled from my beloved Florence. My contributions to political thought have transcended my time and have left an indelible mark on history. My life is a testament to the complexity and often the cruelty of power, but also to resilience. Despite the challenges and tragedies I faced, my work remains alive, 